Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Lest any man spoil you. So the scriptures say beware and lest, lest some man spoil you. Means ruin you. Turn you from what you're supposed to be doing to doing what they want you to do. Read. Through philosophy. Philosophy. Because nowhere in the Bible can you find where it says to, to uh, celebrate Halloween. That goes into the Christian church like you asked. Don't they do hallelujah night? That ain't nowhere in the Bible. The Bible says what? Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. They're going to spoil you, read. Through philosophy. Through philosophies, read. And vain deceit. Vain deceit. You're being deceived by somebody else's vanity. Their vanity goes into them disrespecting and disregarding the fact that y'all are the greatest people created in the earth and teaching you to worship Satan one day out of the year. Bring it the up. Christian church will tell you that you're not supposed to worship Satan, but then, except for one day out of the year, you can worship Satan. They tell you don't talk to strangers, but one day out the year you can talk to strangers and go knock on their door and get candy. Read that again. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Read. After the tradition of men. This is a tradition of men. It's not in the Bible. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 so they can understand who they are according to the Bible. Because this right here, this vain philosophy is not include, it's not supposed to incorporate the children of God. Y'all are the children of the most high God. You got to understand. Y'all are supposed to be on a higher standard than what this world is telling you to do. Read that. Hold that. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. The Bible says you are a holy people. Holy means to be separate. That's you are holy. You're supposed to be separate. I'm going to explain. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. You're supposed to be separated unto the Lord. Give me uh, Exodus 23 and 2. Y'all are a special people chosen by the Lord himself, created in this earth to be rulers. You ever wonder why you can outrun the other nations? You stronger than the other nations, more resilient than the other nations. If the other nations would have went through chattel slavery like your ancestors did, they wouldn't be in existence. That's because y'all are chosen people of the Lord. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. So tonight, there's going to be a multitude of people out here dressed in satanic holly, holly, uh, Halloween costumes. Going to knock on strangers' doors and get candy. Read it again. Exodus 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. The scripture say you should not follow a multitude to do evil. What is Halloween? It is evil. Why, why does everybody ever ask themselves, why on this day all the media is pumping out all the scary movies, all the horrific images of, of dead people and zombies and monsters? That's pure evil. That's evil. Read it again. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Yes, sir. The scripture said don't follow a multitude to do evil. Do y'all know that to this day, people that uh, worship these holidays, that worship Satan, they be putting pins and uh, razor blades and uh, what is the, acid, the other stuff they put on the candy, the white stuff, to kill kids. Yeah, anthrax and all that different kind of stuff. They put that on there to kill kids. Why? This is a wicked, evil holiday. Give me 1 Corinthians 2 and 5. Because the Bible is redundant. Y'all read those flyers and call that number on the back. Reach out and we'll continue to talk to y'all. And we're going to deal with the fact that there's no such thing as a mixed race in the script, in the, according to the Bible. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. 
that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. So that's exactly what it was saying in uh, Colossians 2 and 8. Our faith is not supposed to stand in the wisdom of men. And that goes into the Christian church. Because the pastor will read one scripture, close the book, and hoop and holler for 45 minutes and then pass the tray around the church and get money. And then do another service and do the same thing. And then have a night service and do the same thing. Read it again. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Our faith is not supposed to stand in the wisdom of men. Malachi 2 and 7. The wisdom of men is their own thoughts. They sitting up here making up things like just like we was just bringing out with Halloween. That's a man-made custom. The, pa the roots are pagan at its origin. All kinds of idolatry and Satan, satanic, Satan worshiping and all of that is tied into it. You understand that? Read that. The book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. This is what the Bible says that your, pe your preacher is supposed to be doing. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The Bible says that the priest's lips should keep knowledge. You know what that knowledge is referring to? It's referring to the Bible. That's correct. The laws, statutes, and commandments of the Holy Scripture that are not done away with. It does not make sense, the doctrine that they teach in the church. They teach you that the Old Testament is done away with, right? But tithing is an Old Testament Levitical priest law. Bring it out. And they implement that every Sunday. So what's the deal? Somebody lying. Read it again. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the law at his mouth. That's the Bible telling you that they should seek the law. Okay? You understand that? So the Christian church is responsible for... Hold this up for me right here, officer, if you don't mind. One of these signs. This is the northern kingdom. This is what I was telling you about right here. Look. They holding crosses, burning this man at the stake. What kind of sense do that make? And we in the Christian church right now predominantly today. And our neighborhood is getting worse. Minute by minute. We dying at, a, at the most alarming rate amongst of all the nations in the earth. The people on this sign right here. So you said, y'all can put those down. You said, based off this sign, you have, you mixed with some things. Those genealogy tests and all that stuff, bro. If you read, read the fine print, it tells you that it's for entertainment purposes only. They have no way of determining who you are. Because your grandparents double, quadruple, and so forth and so on all the way back. The numbers get big. That's on your mother's side and your father's side. So give me that numbers. This is how we're supposed to determine who we are according to the Bible. The seed has always been with the men. That's right. You can take an apple seed and plant it in China. Is it going to grow a Chinese apple tree? Or is it just going to, if you take one of the honey crisp apple seeds, it's going to be a, a honey crisp apple, right? It's the same way with your father. Whoever he plants the seed in, is he, you are of him. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigree. You know what a pedigree is, right? It's a bloodline. It's a bloodline. So they declared the pedigree on the first day of what? The second month? Read. And they declared their pedigree. So they determined the bloodline of the Israelites. How? After their families. After their families. Read. By the house of their father. No, by the house of the mom. By the house of their father. Simply by the house of the father. So you are who your father is. If you have one drop of blood, black blood, then you black. Okay, well, Romans 8, 16. Bring it out. I'm going to tell you why it's, what, what, what is so simple about that because we tell people all the time, nothing happens by happenstance. There's no coincidence that the Spirit pulled you over here to inquire. And then we get that, inquire of the former age. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So the scripture says that the Spirit itself, meaning the scriptures, this holy Bible, bears witness with our spirit. So something tells you over here when you've seen all this purple and gold shining in the sun. Something pulled you over here. That was your spirit. 
Read. That we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. So there's a high probability that you are a child of God based off of your spirit pulling you over here to get this understanding. Job 8 and 8. And this is exactly what you did. You came to figure out what's going on. You was raised in the Christian church and all of that. The information, the Bible tells you everything about life. Is that what I want? Yep. Read. Yep. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, mm -hmm. of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their father. So the scripture instructs you that you're supposed to search out who your fathers are. And it also lets you know that your spirit is going to bear witness. The Bible is going to bear witness with your spirit. Now let me show you real quick why it's important for you to know who you are. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 1. Because in the wilderness, when we got delivered out of the Egyptian captivity, Moses put two things on the table for us. He told us about a blessing that would fall on us. And then he told us about a curse that would fall on us if we didn't do what we were supposed to do. But here's the importance of finding out, researching your heritage and your history. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1. And it shall come to pass. Shall is always future prophecy, meaning it hasn't happened yet. Read. When all these things are come upon thee. When all of the things. Read. The blessing and the, the curse. So, Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. So it said, when all these things shall come upon you, the blessing and the curse. Let's see what the blessing is. Let's see if that happened. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass. Future prophecy. He's telling the Israelites that he just delivered out of captivity. This is going to happen to you if, read. If thou shalt hearken diligently. If you listen. The key word in hearken is to hear. If you hear diligently, read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Meaning the Bible, the book of the law. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do all the commandments. Not just ten. During this time it was 613 including the sacrificial law. So he said if you hearken and do all of these commandments, read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So he said, see this separates the fact that people believe and the Christian church teaches that we are all the same and we all one under, in the eyesight of God. Read that again. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do, to, and to do all his commandments, Read. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, Read. above all nations. No, he will make you equal to all the nations. Above all nations. He said, if you do what the Lord told you to do, Israelites, on that sign, I'm going to put you on high above all the nations. Teach her. So during this time, we had King David. I mean, during what this is talking about, we ruled the planet. Blacks ruled the globe. Teach her. When we, when we had our connection to the Most High God, give me verse 15. Verse if you do what I tell you to do, I'm going to put you above all the other nations that are not on that sign. Read. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Future again. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now if you don't do what the Lord told you to do. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all the commandments that he gave to the house of Jacob that the officer brought out earlier. He only gave the information, the law, statutes, and commandments on how to govern the planet to Jacob. Teach. Whose name was later changed to Israel. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. All these curses. Have you ever figured, tried to think about why we can never get ahead as a people, as on. a nation? These are curses. Are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Think about it. That's a question. That's a real question. Is curses good or bad? They bad. A curse is a bad thing. Read. That all these curses. All of these curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The curses are going to come upon us and overtake us. Give them a curse. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So the scripture said, you Israelites are going to be cursed in the city the minute you fall off from doing what the Most High told you to do. Now look on this sign. You got the so-called blacks who are the Judites, the uh, Jamaicans, the Haitians, 
the Puerto Ricans, and I can stop right there. Look at the atrocities that those four nations been going through in the earth right Bring now. It out. All at the same time. Earthquake after earthquake after earthquake. Land ravaged, robbed for all of the natural resources. Look at what's going on in Jamaica right now. China moved over there and just taking full, complete control and not employing them, taking all the resources out. American blacks, you know our plight here. We dying at, the, at an alarming rate at the hands of each other. We getting killed by the police. We getting killed by horrible food. All kinds of things going on with us. So read that again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So any city you point to on the map, Cursed are these people right there gonna be on that sign. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.